dear student friends welcome to another class today we are going to deal with nightingale and the rose a story by oscar wilde who was born in 1854 and died in 1900 he was short lived lived only for 46 years His original name was Oscar Fingal O. Flaherty Wills Wilde, but popularly known as Oscar Wilde. Was a gifted poet, playwright, novelist, and short story writer from Ireland. Playwright means a dramatist. Okay, in the 1880s, he used to write in different forms, in various forms. but the 1890s show a difference show a difference in his writing okay uh he became one of the most popular playwright after the 19 1890s and he is best remembered for his epigrams and plays and one of his famous novels is the picture of dunian gray his stories are marked by sparkling wit sparkling wit and shining wit intelligence genial humor means gentle humor or fun and an insight into human nature a deep insight into human nature or human attitude okay the present story the the present story nightingale and the rose is a part of a collection titled the happy prince and other tales the happy prince and other tales it is a collection it is a part of the main story the happy prince and other tales and it is about the nightingale a singing bird and a student well most of the stories most of the stories written by oscar wilde deals with philosophical they are related to children about children or related to children children story but they are about philosophy and emotional issues this philosophy and emotions are not to be easily understood by the student darshana tattva and emotion abhega upare and these are what easily not understood by the students most of the children and here we are going to discuss about two characters a student of philosophy and nightingale a singing bird and the plot unit 1 is about students lament and nightingale's pill for the student the total story is divided into five units each unit is about a special a uh, <coughs> specific topic we know nightingale is a singing bird usually found in uh, england it's a migratory migratory bird found in between april to september you are acquainted with fairy tales fairy tales means about the fairies and one of the common one of the most appreciated most popular television program was shown pari you might have watched it okay so where something fantasy something miracles happen unbelievable things happen a fairy tale usually relates a fantasy in which often animals birds and even non living beings speak human voice and share human joy and sorrow non living things birds and others they speak human and share also human feelings this story is written in the fairy tale tradition 
this is what in the fairy tale form and in this story a nightingale is moved impressed by sympathy for a young student that she sacrifices her life to gift him a red rose to gift him a red rose to fulfill his dream of dancing with his beloved and how far the student lamented and how the student was able to impress the nightingale and another point that we are going to discuss here is love the most precious thing ever that is depicted or described by the nightingale and as the title says the nightingale and the rose nightingale is a singing bird small brown color singing bird and it usually sings the enchanting sad songs enchanting attractive sad songs of love and it is what known as a true of the heart and the voice of desire through t h r o e through means a sudden outburst a sudden feeling through of the heart something comes out of heart all of a sudden in the voice of desire okay let us go to the text please you open the book and read the lines with me have your pen or pencil be ready to make notes text one she said that she would dance with me if i brought her red roses cried the young student but in all my garden there is no red rose from her nest in the oak tree the nightingale heard him and she looked out through the leaves and wondered no red rose in my entire garden he cried and his beautiful eyes filled with tears oh, happiness depends on such little things i have read all that the wise men have written and all the secrets of philosophy are mine yet for want of a red rose is my life made wretched here is a true lover shade the nightingale his hair is dark as the night and his lips are red as the rose of his desire but passion has made his face like pale ivory and sorrow is upon his brow okay what have you noticed in between this paragraph what have you noticed two things i mean to say here two things i want to say most of the sentences are written in quotation marks another point is that and it is written in past simple past tense okay when do we use quotation marks or inverted comma if we quote someone's sentence or if we want to speak the others voice others talk without any change without any change then we use quotation mark so here the quotation mark indicates the speed told by the student and the nightingale jo bakya guli ko quotation mark bhitar rakha jai chi seta kon indicate karuchi dialogue bus talk da jaha ki student kahi chi aur nightingale kahi chi another point simple past tense use hai chi dekha dao she said that she would dance remember another point she said that she would dance look here she said that she would dance it is past tense and this is also past tense said is past tense would is also past tense there is a rule when we are writing a complex sentence the second verb will be in agreement with the first verb the tense form of the second verb will be in accordance with the first verb tense form of the first verb and another most important point is the verb in the sentence usually agrees with the subject in person and number the other verbs agree with the tense form of the 
past verb. So say the past tense and put the past form of will. If I brought her a red rose, another brought past tense. So it is in conditional type 1 where the condition is open. If I brought her red rose, she would dance with me. If I brought her red roses, okay. We say this type 1 conditional, but the structure is in the imaginary type 2 past simple and past tense of model. So, condition is there. What condition? You bring red rose, I will dance with me, and that is converted into what past tense. So, the girl has a condition, the girl has a promise to dance with the student only for a red rose. But unfortunately, to the dismay of the student, there was no red rose in his garden. And when he was lamenting, when he was crying, the nightingale was there in her nest in the oak tree. From there, he heard him. He overheard. Means he was speaking, he was crying. The nightingale automatically heard him. And she looked out through the leaves and wondered. Again, the student. No red rose in my entire garden. He cried. No red rose. And his beautiful eyes filled with tears. Akhire lotha kara banya. Akhire loha bhari gala. Oh, happiness depends on such little things. Oh. And there is a comma here. Oh, what is it? An expression, sudden expression of exclamation. Happiness depends on such little thing. Rose is not something great. Rose is not of something of great importance. It's a little thing. But his happiness depends on such little thing that is a rose. Only a rose. I have read all that the wise men have written and all the secrets of philosophy are mine. Yet for want of a red rose is my life made raged. Now the student thinks of himself. The, right, the student thinks of what? He has read everything what the wise men have written and wise men have always written wise things. They are meant for wisdom. So they have read, written everything wise and the student has read. And he has also read philosophy. Philosophy is what? It's about life about study of life this line of the student indicates this line of the student explains that he was well educated he was well informative he was a scholar but he didn't have any practical knowledge he didn't have any real knowledge he was well educated but emotionally not educated Bhutthikata vidyata pakhe rahi chi Kintu Pramanika vidya Bhattathyakata vidya ta pakhe re nahi It's a kind of introspection Atma anushidana Nijo kuni chashi dhikkara karu chi Jadiyo Jano aharana karu chi Agyanin ka vali se nijo ku Pa nijo ra vyabahad se bicholi tohi pura chi so a wise person should never react, show his emotion and here the student is showing his emotion and that is what he says for want of a red rose his mind life made raged, his life is miserable, raged only for the want of a red rose. Here is a true lover, shade the nightingale. His hair is dark as the night and his lips are red as the rose of his desire but passion has made his face like pale ivory and sorrow is upon his brow. Now the nightingale finds the qualities of a true lover in the student. What are the qualities of a true lover according to nightingale? His hair is dark. His hair is dark means black as the night. Usually the British people have fair hair, white hair but here the student has got black hair. His lips are red as the rose of his desire. Means the rose. He wants a red rose. He wants a red rose. And just like that, his lips are red. But passion. Two qualities are. Hair is dark and lips are red. 
these are the positive qualities but negative is what passion has made his face like pale ivory passion is there emotional feeling is there powerful emotion is there and that has made his face like pale deep ivory and sharo is upon his brow there is no brightness there is no joy there is no cheerfulness but sadness is there passion means abego udera me kodan abego and ivory is what the elephant's teeth it is dim color okay the prince gives a ball tomorrow night mama the stu young student and my love will be there if i bring her a red rose she will dance with me till dawn if i bring her a red rose i shall hold her in my arms and she will lean her head upon my shoulder and her hand will be clasped in mine but there is no red rose in my garden so i shall sit lonely and she will pass me by she will dance only with others and my heart will break now again the student speaks the prince okay what is the occasion why the girl student why the girl or why the lady love is to dance with him because there is going to be a party a ball party organized by the prince of that area and what is a ball ball party ball is a dance party of the couples the couples can dance there and there is a particular typical music there okay so the prince is going to organize or arrange a party tomorrow night means next night mamot the young student mamot means spoke slowly very slowly feebly khena sura the student coach and my love will be there she will be there if i bring conditional clothes type 1 if i bring her a red rose she will dance with me till dawn means all the night long she will be dancing with the student so one a young student okay the young student can get pleasure can feel the warmth of a girl and that is what he is imagining he is dreaming if i offer her a red rose she will dance with me till dawn again if i bring her a red rose i shall hold her in my arms i shall hold her in my arms that will be an intimate dance and she will lean her head up on my shoulder she will lean her head means she will put her head on my shoulder ta mundo ko momotha par thoibo and her hand will be clasped in mine hands will be joined he will hold her in his arms she will lean her head on his shoulder and hands will be clasped only for one condition that is for a red rose but the disheartening thing is that he doesn't have a red rose but there is no red rose in my garden so i shall sit lonely and she will pass me by i have no red rose to give her i cannot fulfill his her dream i cannot fulfill her dream and i will be sitting there lonely she will pass him by without throwing a glance at him she will dance only with others and my heart will break this is what the student thinking of the negative this is what this heartening situation for the student because he cannot offer a red rose to the girl to his beloved she will not dance with him she will dance with others and when our lady love when our dear one dances with dances with somebody else it's not a welcoming point for us it's not a soothing or comforting factor for us rather it is irritating discomfort situation nijaku ba nija hrudayaku khanda bikhandita kare deba dukha deba now the night angels night after night have i sung of love thought the night angel and what i sing of he suffers what is joy to me to him is pain surely love is a wonderful thing it is more precious than emeralds and dearer than fine opals pearls and pomegranates cannot buy it nor is it for sale in the market place it may it may not be purchased from the merchants nor can it be weighed out in exchange for gold now the nightingale thinks of precious nest of love how precious love is okay nightingale is a singing bird she can only imagine she can never feel the reality 
but on the other hand she wants to she the student enjoy his life so night after night have i sung of love as we have already discussed the nightingale is a singing bird and she sings of love so night after night she sings of love and what she sings the student suffers he sings of love and that is the cause of suffering for the student the student is pining here the student is suffering for love and what is joy to him joy to the bird what is joy to bird singing is joy singing the love songs gives him gives the nightingale pleasure gives her pleasure but that is the cause of pain that causes pain to the student surely love is a wonderful thing now the nightingale describes wonders of love how love is wonderful it is more precious than emeralds more precious costlier than emerald and what is emerald of what uh, it is a kind of ornament ja kame udere ko jon marakata mani marakata mani that is not found now it is it is very costly and dearer than fine opals dearer means not closely not closer but costlier ja kame udere ko mahanga than fine opals and what are the opals very shining white and blue stones used for making of jewelry or ornaments pearls and pomegranates cannot buy it in simple way in a simpler way we can say love is precious than all wealth in the world love is precious than costlier than all wealth in the world duniya ke sare daulat ke daulat ke bagair main प्रेम प्यार को ठोकरा नहीं पाता हूँ कि ये जो भी कॉमन डायलॉग हमें हिंदी फिल्म बड़े सुन के बाद सो इट पर्ल्स एंड पोमोग्रेनर्स के रट पाए पर्ल्स मुक्ता मोती एंड पोमोग्रेनर्स दैट वी नो दैट इट इस इट्स ए काइंड ऑफ फ्रूट बट दैट इज आल्सो ए स्टोन यूज्ड फॉर द ज्वेलरीज रेड स्टोन्स ओके कट लाइक डायमंड nor is it for shell so love is something that can be felt that can be experienced that cannot be purchased that cannot be exchanged ago badala kara dai pariba nahi kharid kara dai pariba nahi that is only felt it may not be purchased from the merchants nor can it be weighed out in exchange for gold if you put gold on one side and love on other side then love will go down down and gold will come up means the weight of love is heavier than gold so this is what the paragraph uh in the words of the nightingale love is precious now the student the musicians will play upon their stringed instruments say the young student and my love will dance to the sound of the harp and the violin she will dance so lightly that her feet will not touch the floor and the courtiers in the gate races will throng around her but with me she will not dance for i have no redress to give her and he flung himself down on the grass and buried his face in his hands and wept the student is still in his dreams the student is still in his fantasy world of dancing with his girl lover or girl love the musicians will be playing their stringed instruments instruments are various types uh, some of the musical instruments have strings like the violin the harp so they will be playing their stringed instruments and she will dance to the sound of the harp and the violin they will be playing the instruments and with that tune she will be dancing and she will dance so lightly lightly means quickly so fast that her feet would not touch the floor as if she would be flying in the air and the courtiers in their gay dresses colorful gorgeous dresses will throng around her they will gather around her just like a butterfly as a butterfly throngs around flower to suck honey just like that the courtiers in colorful gorgeous dresses will be surrounding swarming around the girl as if she is the honey bee 
but with me she will not dance with me because the student does not have the red rose what she demands for i have no red rose to give her and thinking that thinking that miserable situation disheartening situation he flung himself down he threw himself down with a jerk with a force nitu tole loti douchi and buried his face covered his face in his hands and wept now he lost his coolness he lost his emotion his emotion was exposed he cried like a small child why is he weeping asked a little green lizard as he ran past him with his tail in the air why indeed said a butterfly who was fluttering about after a sunbeam he is weeping for a red rose said the nightingale for a red rose they cried how very ridiculous but the nightingale understood the secret of the student's sorrow and she sat silent in the oak tree and thought about the mystery of love now two other characters are there two other animals are introduced one is green lizard and the other is butterfly and these animals have no feeling for the student's love they pay an indifferent look indifferent look to his love because they never realize the value of love so green lizard asks why is he weeping he wants to know the reason for the student's cry as he then passed with the tail with his tail in the air and butterfly also repeats the question why indeed yes why is he weeping and the butterfly was fluttering about after the sunbeam the nightingale speaks that he is weeping for a red rose that is something ridiculous that is something funny that is something humorous for them taka bhai ko to kya kada bhi kada nahi ho that rose is not a thing uh, rose is not something of great price it is ordinary thing but the student is crying for a red rose only for an ordinary red rose so for a red rose they cried how very ridiculous how very funny ki go to kya katha e man e man e katha da man bhai go to kya thila amod dai katha la karan se man prem ro sashwat prem ko bujhi na thile but the nightingale understood the secret secret of the student sharo why the student was crying or what was the secret of the student sharo and thinking of that she sat in the oak tree and thought about the mystery of love the mystery of love the suspense of love the wonders of love the nightingale realizes the pain of the student the cause of the suffering and she eats a singing bird she thinks for the student now unit 1 is over as we move to unit 2 we will have some questions so does the nightingale do something for the student or does the nightingale keep his emo- keep her emotions within herself and she only feels that we will be discussing in unit 2 i hope you might have understood thank you okay